life. Well, uh, <laughs> I was about to show you that we started to receive the first uh, uh, so the first the first localization uh, yes. materials, and yes. so now we can play in Japanese, or we can prefer to play in Japanese, Hi. or pretend. <laughs> yes, Hi. We, we won't even try to speak Japanese Hi. because it's going to be too embarrassing. Hi. But uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. For, <laughs> for all you for all you Japanese listeners out there, uh, you can take a look at this Japanese menu, I suppose. <laughs> and probably we can even try to start the game like oh, this. Yeah. We have some problems here. You can see that the font is a bit different. Uh, not all characters are entering properly, but yeah, that's about it. So today we're gonna talk about what you'll have. In the early access version and what you will not yeah have basically we're here to ruin version. your hopes and dreams for the game we yeah. would like to avoid <laughs> misleading anyone into purchasing the game on the basis of some expectations that maybe are not absolutely uh and entirely correct so while sergey is going to tell you a whole story about what we gonna have lots of japanese by have... the way look 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 there's the lots buttons, of japanese the beautiful. name the name of yes yeah, so and two guys one girl and he's the man okay i'm so, gonna play the game right now and sergey's gonna ruin your hopes and dreams all right i think that's a we, fair we, game we fair previously game. <laughs> we previously made the commitment to launch or expectations to launch the game on the 30th of october which is a week from now mm -hmm. uh and then we made the decision to push this back to november 14 uh because <laughs> we are not finished yet with the content with the texts and we want to launch in Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Russian, and English at the same time. We don't want to launch without, let's say, Japanese, and then say, ah, oh, you know, guys, come back later at some point and we'll have Japanese. That's a mm -hmm. sad story. I've seen this happen multiple times. I don't want to be a part of it. Uh, we would prefer to delay the whole thing. Uh, secondly, there's a lot of improvements in the UI that we feel we need to make before we launch. That includes yeah. the tutorial system, a very basic system just some text explaining certain things how different rooms work but on the basic level we should have it uh that also includes certain game events which we're still fine-tuning and connecting all the different information things in the game to explain to you what is what Yes, and I think we can switch to English because we're getting lost here. No, I'm not. I'm no, just showing the screens. Okay, okay. Now, well, as you're talking, I'm sort of oh. creating an atmosphere here. So you know? a few small things on the current build and what changed. Yeah, uh, you can see that the medical pharmaceutical items have slightly greenish background to help you distinguish. Yeah, you even have a little pharmacy here in our hospital. Boop. Burp. You open it up. Like, as we're going to uh, send our disciples on quests, you'll see that they'll come back with diseases and you'll be like, okay, so let's, this let's, is... Let's hold on here a little yeah. bit. So we have things for treating diseases, yeah. things for treating bleeding, uh, Wounds, injuries, injuries yeah. things for treating symptoms, yeah. and things for treating poisons. Poisoning, yeah. poisons. Uh, there's still, if you, if, you, if, you, if you hold over here, for example, um, it gives you something for seven days can't yeah. tell you what it gives but uh, our japanese players will be able to say uh it requires alchemy level three yeah. uh and it, then it, the thing I, is that it gives something plus no, five it so relieves it relieves uh symptoms for uh, some kind of symptoms some yeah. kind of i think it relieves poisoning symptoms for uh seven days as it's a bit too high yeah third level of alchemy i think it's a bit too high so that's not that's not i don't know i don't know what this is but basically <laughs> we are making an effort to put as much information as we can, mm -hmm. visualize it, and give you a better idea of what is happening in the game. We are not so much making changes in the game mechanics as we are making it easier to understand. So here, for example, you now see hit points, 320. Yeah. That's 8 multiplied by 40, and that shows you more precisely uh, how much you lose when the character is sick, when yeah. the character is injured. Uh, because we don't want to, we don't want you to wait until you lose the whole point of your stat. Yeah. We so want basically, to show you in real time. this is the big picture of your health, 
and this is like the detail right you'll see the big picture when you see it, these tiny screams and it'll be very visible when you start losing health this guy reminds me of standard of four one of our japanese players oh really <laughs> he's got he's got pretty much the same the same character on his uh okay avatar. who um, else do we have we have this young lady whose name i can't read you can see and... the the the, the um, you can see guys uh yellow traits traits in yellow that's the yeah. psychological portrait that's the traits that are used uh, by characters to make decisions during events yeah so again that's a little quality of life improvement you know that these three traits are what will determine the decisions yeah so we have more traits some of them are not translated yet and some of them are obviously not good in red and they yeah. have different size of symbols of characters yeah. yeah so we have some homework to do before we want to launch yeah i would hate to launch the game like this and then someone from japan will launch it and look at that and say yeah. what well, the heck what is this <laughs> even i cannot even tell what those you know i can say this is the but i i, I you know and this is a little hard here but I have no idea about the other stuff. Uh, we're working, I'm working <laughs> on, uh, well, I guess me and Andrea are working. Andrea is sort of putting stuff together and I'm working on maybe illustrations that will sort of make the screens a little bit um, more recognizable because we have all sorts of different rooms and they sort of look the same, as you can see. So we need to recognize them, we need to make them more interesting so that's what i'm working on right now let's basically. jump to the map maybe send a few people let's to different jump quests to the map. Uh, so, so 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 basically we still have a couple of weeks of uh work left on the content and hopefully in three weeks we will launch if we do not have that stuff ready we're gonna push back again and push back again until we are uh ready at the basic level with the crucial things uh, we're not going to delay for any big features. You know, it's going to come during the early access. If you want to buy this game, you're joining the community that helps us build this product into what we think is a great game. Uh, and we really love working with the community and improving certain things based mm -hmm. on their player experience. But if you're just after a product, then you should probably wait for another nine months or so yeah. and then it'll be you know polished final and you'll see the description of the game change into saying hey it's a kick-ass product thirty dollars and do we have any standard fantasy races in the game like elves and dwarves no, no. <laughs> let's take a look at the wikipedia maybe if uh, you have the uh, the um, if you do have the 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 non-human races in the game there is uh, creatures animals and non-human uh races uh there is a bunch of them uh so let's go to yep uh, yep uh but we have for example uh, creatures maybe creatures yep because so we got ashlings and mushroom meters uh never mind the text the text will we don't have change. a humanoid species created yet but we'll have mutants so the clo uh, that'll not be in early access. Yeah, no. not in early access, but in general, that'll be the closest thing to elves that you're gonna if get. If we create them, we don't. Yeah, know but yet. right now we have sort of um, animal-like, uh, intelligent creatures, and probably the closest thing maybe to an elf as well would be a mm, a mermaid. Where's the mermaid? Where's the mermaid? Maybe she's here. Nope. Nope. She's in creatures. Uh, waterlings. But her picture is missing. Anyways, so... <laughs> <laughs> believe Let's me. go back to that. Believe me, mermaids, I mean waterlings, they exist and uh, they look amazing. <laughs> the, so so, so, so the, the main message from us is that early access of this game, let's just send someone to explore. Yeah. Um, is about the process and not about the product and we do update the game every week we love fixing small things and doing big things uh if you were curious about the tempo about the speed of updates then you can check our release notes we publish them for the last six weeks or eight yeah. weeks if you go to the forum you'll see all the release notes and you can judge for yourself whether or not this 
uh, pace of progress is satisfactory to you or not. We should not yes. expect uh, you shouldn't expect something certain things happening very fast. You shouldn't expect s certain grand things, grand schemes, you know, yeah. and uh, plot twists. We would hate <laughs> to disappoint you. Uh, initially, Massive initially, events. that's the starting point, and then let's just switch off the filters. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone, someone completed the quest. Yeah. Let's see. I think he was collecting Mass some snakes. berries. So he collected berries. Good job for you. Um, whatever you know your name is. Fillers. I need filler. I need to see the food. Yeah, just run away. And and uh, as always, you can see uh, the latest version of the game and the latest stream. And uh, based on that, this is how the game looks. It's not going to change much, uh, yeah. except for the interface. Yeah, we're trying to make just things. Fast forward and let's explore the items, and that's it. We have a special thing, a special sort of uh, theme for you today that we're going to show you probably in a minute. It's how our interface has changed. And today we're going to show you one screen of the interface, which is the character screen. And we'll show you where we came from, where we started with, what we started with, and what we have right now. Oh my, he met bandits. Where, is, where are their faces? <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think switching to Japanese killed, <gasps> killed a lot of things uh, in the interface. Okay. Uh, I mean, condition changes are Japanese, but that is not, this is not, and certain things didn't show up. Here's another small quality of life improvement. You can see that the disciples who are outside of yeah. the spire... Uh, are a little bit faded out, so you can get a better idea that they are faded out. Ooh, let's take a look. I think some of this is options. Mm -hmm. Is it like? Probably this one, no. Okay. Uh, I think we should there set go. the... Uh, mm, there you go. I think we should set languages right like in this menu. All right. So, oh my God, look at that. Yeah, he His came character back. efficiency is very low. He's unhappy. He's in dull pain, sharp pain, drowsiness. He's exhausted, lonely, <laughs> defeated in combat. <gasps> He's got a poisoning, moderate injury, mild injury, damaged health, and drowsiness. Let's go to the hospital first. Oh, like man. I mean, look yeah, at this. Yeah, he lost a lot of health. And you can see that the loss of health on the hard part and on the green part, it just can. Yeah. There you go. He's waiting for the doctor. Um, yeah, you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to set for the other injury as well. Yeah, the mage is gonna. Uh, he doesn't have enough hours. He has stuff to do, so you can separately yeah go and. There we go. And he's being healed. Good for him. <laughs> and he's becoming happier. Wait. Oh, well, we have another person who came back. She was also an adventure. Um, and she's not touching the dead body. She passed the snake. And she found death bloom. Ooh, can we can we see death bloom in the answer? No, I guess can not. Can I ask you? Just yes. go back to death bloom. Yeah. Why the hell death bloom is monstrology? Um. Well, right now <laughs> he it's it's a dweller. That's why because All you can right. interact with it. But All it's right. weird. Yeah. Uh, it's it is strange. All right. If you think about it, it's a monster of sorts. Oh, she healed the bandit. She got the booze. Yeah. She got rewarded, <laughs> but we're missing the backgrounds here. The backgrounds should be different colors. Yeah, but for some reason they're not. Who knows? Maybe the 
the gods of UI will hear us. <laughs> the backgrounds are not. I think this one should be a red color as well. Yeah. Smoke bomb. Anyway, I so. mean, this is pretty much the sort of the game that we're not releasing to you guys. Uh, we'll spend another three weeks improving yeah. it. And fixing then we go launch. bugs, fixing, yeah. making everything look nicer, more, and more understandable. Basically. I don't care about yeah. nice, I care about functional. So let's take the second topic of this uh, stream and show. Um, the evolution evolution of the interface yeah. so for 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 today so the dude we wanted to show you how this screen that you can see has evolved yeah so we're talking about the character screen and um there will be a lot of iterations. <laughs> so what we wanted to show you is that during the two years of production, we've gone through a lot of prototyping visually. Yeah. Uh, sometimes that was good. Sometimes it was stupid. Uh, stupid in the sense that we would take uh, a screen or an interface area that uh, would not be yet gameplay ready. Mm -hmm. And we would try to make it beautiful but without understanding how the game works, that was just an exercise in design. Well, it's always in design, it's always a battle between functionality and looks, basically. Uh, it's very difficult to sort of make everything functional and then make uh, everything sort of aesthetically pleasing. It sort of, it comes together. Like you have to start way. somewhere. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that the overall design was affected by all those Yeah, plus things. I don't think we would have gone where we are right now without these crazy iterations. And we got through some crazy iterations. This is sort of a gothic themed uh, theme going on here. It's like circles and Sergei was all excited about how everything looks so fancy and now everything looks dull, isn't it? Just a uh, reminder, this this fancy stuff and then we have this. It's all all gone, right? The current the current version <laughs> in the game is functional. It's there, yeah. things are there because you need to see them and you need to understand the levels and you need to understand the different traits. Yeah. Uh, what you see here on this board is the stuff that's beautiful or <laughs> statically beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why not? Why not? And I mean, normally when you see stuff like this, you're like, wow, I'd like to bring it back to the game. But actually, that's not going to work because that's where visuals take over functionality. And even though it looks beautiful, you maybe we'll have problems understanding the game. Game production is difficult. For example, if <laughs> I would look at the screenshot like one of those, I would probably say very beautiful. I'd like to buy this game. But uh, if I would try to play a game like this, I'd probably hate it. Um, did we, did we uh, discuss the mechanic of time warp for emergency change? uh we have in the plan after the early access a possibility to maybe have a spell that brings back the whole party so exfiltrates the party i'm not sure it will be done we have to see how we'll play but the current thinking from us and from the players who already play the game right now is that they would like to see an extraction spell maybe it'll be expensive but at least there'll be an opportunity to immediately recall the party and bring them and their inventory back to Spire. Mm. So now Rita is showing you one of the more developed versions of yeah, we have some, character interface. And uh, also some colorful, colorful stats. stats yeah. uh, <laughs> so from left to right, we have health, <laughs> intelligence. Uh, I would imagine... Uh, eyesight, kissing capabilities. No, 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 no. She's, she's not listening to it. She's spark, no. spark of character. So I think what we meant here and is sin. health, intelligence, <laughs> memory, <clears throat> charisma, yeah. uh, intuition, and willpower. Yeah. But that's that's been a year ago. <laughs> that's willpower. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, also, we had like this idea of um, floating traits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That was pretty random. This, uh, is, this, this, this looks this like was created when we still did not have enough <coughs> gameplay experience, when we were just thinking of how to put together the whole game beautifully, yeah. and our programming part of the team was busy doing tools. Um, here also you can see inventory items on the light oh, yeah. background. That's a little bit of a... We did not enjoy With the it. old map as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a part of the old map. You can see a different scale, on, on a different On some style. stream, we'll, we'll show you like a work in progress of the map as well. It took a long time as well and a lot of iterations. Someone told me that we still have the, the, the trailer on Steam page that doesn't show gameplay and that this is suspicious. It's not suspicious, it's... Just we never got around to updating it because yeah. we were spending all the time on uh, improving the game. And uh, here are work in progress of our whoop. different stats. Different yeah. stats. This is how they look right now. But to get the, there, so last screens you saw were pain and sweat of our um, artist Monica, and this is our. Uh, UI designer slash artist slash programmer. I don't know how interesting this is. I mean, <laughs> we're getting Andres. into a rabbit hole that I'm not sure. Like, people are switching off the stream right now. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to go through it very quickly and stuff. So, we had drawing and illustration is one thing, and these icons are stupid in a way. Stupid because you have to make sure that the meaning is right. What is the meaning for health? What, how can you show intelligence? Like for every person, the picture is different. So the pro poor designer who had to design these things is like, okay, okay, I need to make sure that everybody has the same understanding of what this fist is. And so then here the, yeah. for the fist, the fist <laughs> could be associated with the willpower, but also the fist is yeah. associated with the physical power. And so when you look at those icons, <laughs> for example here right you see the arrow that goes straight and the arrow probably means that he is being able to direct himself or herself yeah but but it also looks like a tactical power like it's a great general or, it's horrible or... it's horrible especially when two different people have different opinions about what means what and this this crazy brain thing <laughs> like why do you have suddenly a human <laughs> organ there yeah, oh, uh, the die. <laughs> the well. dice was for intuition, but is it really like you know? Maybe it's luck. So we went through a, a lot compass, of things. Yeah, more arrows. I like that arrow actually. Oh, the I rope. <laughs> did not enjoy this path through the labyrinth. Yeah. Um, and the tree, like the tree. If you look at this tree, uh, this tree is like, is it? gardening no is it like what the hell is this no the thing is a lot of these things i think if we would just impl imply them and just put them in the game people will start associating them. they will j they would just remember them right and be like okay this is tree this is uh that's what the artist always stuff. tell them you know that's if you're an artist that's what you tell yourself you say yeah people will learn but then eventually we arrived at the version that was really uh, uh the version intuitive. we I mean, have let's look at the yeah here right here yeah so we've got I health, we've got intelligence, we've got memory, we've got charisma, uh, willpower, and intuition. And, and it took us, I think, about a month to get there, maybe a couple months of mm, discussions. Not that. Mm. I remember some moments we were very intensive. Uh, discussing it's it's hard to see the timeline only because these things, they jump. You will start and work for this for a week, for example, then we'll leave it alone for a while. And then after a month or two months, you come back to working on it again. So it's really h difficult to say how long a certain task uh, took to complete. So anyway, uh, all, of our, all of our guys are back in the spire, by the way. So. And everyone is casting themselves some food. Oh, and we have a new character coming in. Yeah. Um, so basically, um, we're still working on the game. We're trying to make it a as functional as possible, and we really like when you guys interact with us as possible within like the three weeks. <laughs> yes, yes, with the with the time constraints that we have, and we really love when you guys interact with us. When you guys go to our forums, go to our Discord, and share your opinions about the game, share your ideas, or join the discussion on what makes and what doesn't. Make makes sense in the game and then yeah, yeah. Uh, we are lucky to have uh, smart testers currently who are yeah. sharing their opinions 
and that helps us but to what is your favorite more. thing about our testers though like what what makes them so special my, my favorite thing is that uh they can articulate their experience mm -hmm. in in a very uh easy to understand way mm -hmm. without trying to think for us yeah so when when when, when i used to work with the uh, uh, recordings uh, in the studio uh, with actors. Uh, a good way of working with an artist would be to say, ah, you sounded a little bit off. Could you be more scared in this scene? Mm -hmm. And then the artist would go and get scared in that scene in whatever way that artist thinks. Mm -hmm. A bad way would be to say, could you speak a bit higher and a bit faster? Because mm -hmm. I think that'll make you sound scared. But mm -hmm. I'm not an artist. I cannot get into your brain. So that's bad feedback. And the good feedback was the first one. Uh, and so in this way, a good feedback for us on the forums from players is I tried to make this and I got confused because of this. And I couldn't understand why this happened. And mm -hmm. I thought I'm doing this, but actually this happened. Mm -hmm. And and I'm really frustrated because there is a sick person in the hospital and I don't understand how to heal that person. Mm. Bad feedback is, I think you guys should double the, the amount of resources here and I think that I should be have this button right here on which I can click that will do this stuff and then I want the spell that teleports well, me to not the mushrooms to say, and Not to say that just uh, generating ideas is a bad thing as well. Because no, we it's need... great. The discussion is great. Yeah, yeah, It's just that everything that we change has multiple consequences. Mm -hmm. And so it's great to go from experience to finding a solution. Mm. It's much more difficult to go from a solution to whether or not this is a good solution. Mm -hmm. So right here, like, let me try to switch to the game. I'll just show you. And I will switch off the camera, I think. Yep. So right here in the game here, you've got, you've got those uh, alchemical properties at the bottom. And from here to here, you have alchemical properties, mm -hmm. and from here to here, you get crafting properties. So a good feedback here would be, I'm confused by having so many things on the screen all the time. And, and you know, I'm not, I'm not sure what this means or what this means. Uh, let's make it easier to understand. And then the solution could mm -hmm. be that we split this into two groups. Uh, the solution could be that we actually write the name on top and say crafting ingredients, alchemic ingredients. Uh, the solution could be that here in the tooltip we say not only raw food, but the following items contain mm -hmm. this property. Basically giving us feedback within our concept that we already have. Like having um, new original ideas for us, giving us new original ideas is also fine, but at the same time, don't expect us to rewomp everything and change everything, you know, just because of your liking, basically. So the yeah, best... We have, like, we don't really make a difference between uh, player comments and our own comments. Mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that whoever is playing, they have feedback to share. It's 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 valid point. Yeah. Sure. E except that we do discuss a lot of things, and sometimes we end up not doing the change because we see negative consequences as well as positive. And so we cannot really say, you know what, let's fix this but break this. No, we're looking for the solution, and sometimes we don't have the solution right now, and we just push it back, and it's okay, and then we'll fix it at a later stage. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, all the feedback that we got so far, um, negative and positive, is 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 good. It's pretty it's much good in that... line. We have people who played <laughs> fifty hours in the game, seventy hours in the game. Yeah. Uh, I think there is one person who played a hundred hours in the game. Um, the good news is that we're not, you know, pushing them to do it. So it means mm -hmm. that we've got something that's exciting and interesting. Yeah. Uh, the bad thing is that you have to understand this is an early access game, so you will see a lot of changes. And if you're the sort of person who likes to see the product evolve, then you will love it. Mm -hmm. If you're the sort of person who hates changes or who wants everything to be functional from day one, 
then you need to wait maybe for nine months before buying into the game and enjoying mm -hmm. it. The beauty for me is that we're fully open to changing the game and improving the game in whatever way we'll discover through this early access period. Yeah. I don't know how it will look in six months. And and, and our commitment is that we're going to do all the changes that we need to make. We don't uh, know how it's going to look in three weeks. <laughs> yeah, well, kind of. I mean, we can, we, can, we can take a guess. But the thing is, on the previous game, we've done the same thing. We launched without tutorial. Then we added a basic tutorial. Then we added an interactive tutorial. We launched without a single player campaign. Then we added single player campaign. Mm -hmm. And again, we launched and we said, we're not doing single player campaign because we think uh, that's not what people want. Mm -hmm. And then we saw that half of the people uh, kept bringing up this topic in the conversation. So we've created the single player campaign and about 50% of the sessions in our previous game happened in single player mode. Mm -hmm. At the same time, people would bring up very aggressively the idea of a split screen co-op. And they would say like, oh, your, 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 your board game doesn't have a co-op on the same screen. How horrible of you. But out of 200,000 people or more who bought the game on Steam, there's maybe seven who ever wanted that. And you can mm -hmm. already solve it by buying two copies and playing from two different computers. Yeah. So we're not, even though they were very unhappy, there were very few of them. And statistically, we could see that we can get better result investing our time elsewhere. Yeah. So the same approach we'll use with this game. We're looking for things that improve the game for everyone, for the majority of people. There's nothing sacred. Uh, you know, maybe the game will have some kind of a multiplayer mode or not, not really multiplayer, but some kind of a network functionality. Why not? We're open to different ideas. Uh, but at the same time, we're going to steer the game towards this open world, dangerous, original, indirect control RPG. Mm -hmm. And if 10 people come and say, I'm going to give you a negative review if you don't let me make decisions for my party, we'll say, sure, yeah. go ahead and do it. Because this is a, not a micromanagement game. Yeah and, yeah. and we don't want to, you know, get hijacked. We can't make everyone happy, basically. Um... We'd like to make people happy <laughs> who are into this ambition of creating uh, a yeah. dark fantasy, original open world, indirect control, so... RPG strategy. If you can't wait to join the discussion, join our forums, join our Discord, and um, maybe in three weeks, get maybe a game. Maybe in three weeks, you'll be <laughs> able to, you know, pay twenty dollars or twenty euros and leave your own feedback. Yep, yep. And That's true. don't forget, you can refund the game on Steam uh, <laughs> if you play it under two hours. Yeah. yeah. So be I quick. Be quick. <laughs> it's like you open, you look at some screens, and you're like. Refund. terrible terrible yeah but you know stick with us maybe and see what happens and uh, yeah have it trust promises to have to be an exciting year next year all right yeah thank you for uh, being with us this week and uh, we'll see you on next wednesday yeah next wednesday all right see ya